Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. Now in this lecture, we will understand what is closure. We will understand what is closure is all about and take a few examples. It is very important to understand what is closure. So must watch the complete tutorial. So what is closure? Closure is the combination of function bundle together with references to its surrounding state. This definition is more complicated, right? Now let's read this in simple words. In the other words, the closure gives you an access to an outer function scope from the inner function. It means closure is simply a function inside another function to expose it. Now here you can see we use expose word for the function. To expose the function, you can use a return keyword or you can pass it to another function. Now let's take an example and understand how closure look like. So I will declare a function here. So I will say function counter and in the body of that function I will declare a variable. So I will say let count is equal to 0. Now you can't access this variable. So to access this variable I will say return I will just return a function so I will say return function and just return the count variable and increase the value by 1 using post incremental operator right now after the function I will create a reference of the counter function so I will select counter is equal to counter function and after that I will just print this counter function on the console I will just print this counter function three times so when you execute this example you will get 0 1 2 on the console in this example we created inner function and outer function we name counter to the outer function and we create anonymous function in the counter function as a inner function. Now you can see to expose the variable we use closure and return outer function variable. As you know you can't access the function variable outside of the function but using closure you can access them with just a return keyword and using the function you can return variable to its caller. Now let's take one more example of closure. So I will select closure and I will declare a standalone block here and in this block I will select block is equal to character and I, I just wanted to access the block variable outside this block. So you can't access this variable outside of this block you will get an error message right well you know that you can't access the variable outside of the block scope but using the closure you can do that just like this i will just create a function here and specify a reference to the closure variable so i will say closure is equal to function and in the body of that function I will say console.log and specify block variable. Now when you call the closure you will get block variable value. So now when you execute this statement you will get character on the console because using closure you can access the inner variable outside of the function. Right? Let's take one more last example with object. So in this example, we are using arrow function as a closure. Take attention on this example. So I will select f, I will declare a variable here. So I will select f and after that I will create a standalone block and in this block I will declare an object. So I will select obj is equal to and specify a property. So I will say name character so now 
I just wanted to access this object outside of this block. So I will say f is equal to and after that I will specify arrow function here. So you know that how to specify arrow function. So just specify parenthesis and arrow right and in the curly braces I will say return obj right and just call the function. So when you execute this you have reference of the object in the f function. Now if you just create a reference of this function then you can access the object properties like this. So I will say let ref is equal to I will call the f function. Just after that I will say console.log and just say ref.name right so when you execute this you will get character on the console now using the reference you can access the object as you can see you can access the block scope variable outside of the block using closure right that's it i hope you understand this lecture i have asked a question in the comment answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial.